Sitaram, a warm and cordial welcome to each and every one of you tonight. First of all, welcome to yet another night of Gyan Yagna, hosted by the Bagwandas family. Thank you to you all for your warm hospitality, and I think everyone here can know that they are comfortable here. Um, thank you, Pandit. Um, welcome to our Brahmin Devatas. Um, thank you everyone for coming. Um, before I finish this introduction, I just want to carry out a little exercise. Whenever we chant Jai, we must chant with love, bhakti, and devotion. So I don't want to hear people going Jai. Oh. Jai. So let's carry out a quick exercise. Satya Sanatan Dharma Ki. That was okay, you know. But I want quite a polar spin to hear. Jai. Satya Sanatan Dharma Ki. Jai Jai Sitara. Shankar Shiva, Shankar Shiva, Shambhu Mahadeva, Shankar Shiva. Shankar Shiva, Shankar Shiva, 
बोलो शंकर शिवा बोलो शंकर शिवा भोजन शंकर शिवा हमारा भोजन शंकर शिवा ओ शंकर शिवा शंकर शिवा शंभु महादेव शंकर शिवा शंकर शिवा शंकर शिवा शंभु महादेव शंकर शिवा बोलो शंभु महादेव शंकर शिवा शंभु महादेव शंकर शिवा बोलो शंभु महादेव शंकर शिवा शक्ति जगदम्बा माता की जय करा हो जाए आठ जय तेरे सोल प्लीज तान दस भी चौनी दी ओपनिंग आठ नहीं शुभम करो तो कल्याणम आरोग्यम सुकसम परम हमार शत्रु बिना शायन दीप जोतर नमोस दुटे सिद्धि बुद्धि प्रेरे देवी भुक्ते भुक्ते प्रदायनी मंत्र मूर्ति सदा देवी महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तुते ओ बोलो सुनो मेरे देवी पर्वत वासिनी तेरा पारन पाया तेरा पारन पाया बोलो सुनो मेरे देवी पर्वत वासिनी तेरा पारन पाया तेरा पारन पाया बोलो सुनो मेरे देवी पर्वत तेरा पारन पाया तेरा पारन पाया सुनो मेरी देवी पर्वत वासिनी तेरा पारन पाया तेरा पारन पाया सुपारी ध्वजा नारियल पान सुपारी ध्वजा नारियल पान सुपारी ध्वजा नारियल पान सुपारी ध्वजा नारियल रे तेरे बीच जराया रे तेरे बीच जराया बोलो धूप 
Mahdi ra paran paya, 
radio and tv broadcast this evening all kind of corporate sponsors we express sentiments of gratitude and expressions of thanks and this evening once more on behalf of the bangwanas family we say welcome as we prepare our minds and our souls to listen to the beautiful katha hard jod binti karo let us bow our heads in prayer as we chant mantras of invocation we pray hari yo सर्वंगल मंगल्य शिव सर्वाटि साति के शरण्येत्रंबके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तुते शिशिवर्णम चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वर्णम न्याय सर्वोपात वक्रतुंदा महाकाय सूर्यकोटि समभ निर्विघ्न कुरो मे देवाषु सर्वंगल मंगल्य शिव सर्वाट साति के शरण्येत्रंबके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तुते सरस्वती नमस्तुप्य वर्णे कामिणी विद्यारंभम करीषा सिद्धिर्भवत मे सदा जयंती काली मंगला काली भद्र काली कपालिनी दुर्गा क्षमा शिवा शात्रे स्वाहा स्वधा नमोस्तु ते सर्वंगल मंगल्ये शिव सर्वाट साति के शरण्येत्रंबके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तु ते कर्पूर गौर करुणावतारम संसार सारम भुजगेन्द्रारम सरावसत हिरारविंदे भवं भवाणी सहित नमा त्रयंबक यजाम सुगंधी पुष्टि वर्णनम उर्वाकमीवा वंदना मृत्योर्मुक्ष्यु त्रयंबक यजाम सुगंधी पुष्टि वर्णनम उर्वाकमीवा मृत्योर्मुक्ष्य सर्वंगल मंगल्य शिव सर्वाट साति के शरण्येत्रंबके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तु ते गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरुर्साक्षात् पारब्रह्मा तस्म श्रीगुरव नम सर्वंगल मंगल्य शिव सर्वाट साति के शरण्येत्रंबके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तु ते सर्वरे सर्वर्णे सर्वदुष्टभयंकरे सर्वदुखहरे देवी महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तु ते ओ श्रीलक्ष्मी दिव्य नम 
सिद्धि बुद्धि प्रदीति भी मुक्ति मुक्ति प्रदायनी मंत्र मूर्ति सदा देवी महालक्ष्मी नमो सुते आद्यंत्र देवी आदि शक्ति महेश्वरी योग योग शंभु देवी महालक्ष्मी नमो सुते महालक्ष्मी नमो सुते महालक्ष्मी नमो सुते सर्व मंगल मांगल्ये शिवे सर्वाट साधिके शरण्ये ब्रह्म के गौरी नारायणी नमो सुते सर्व मंगल मंगलिए शिवे सर्वात साधिके शरण्ये प्रेम के गौरी नारायणी नमो सुते यूजिंग द डस्ट द लोटस लाइक फीट द गुरु आई क्लेंज द मिरर ऑफ माय इग्नोरेंट माइंड अज्ञानम तिविदंदस्य ज्ञान नंजं शलागे चक्षुरम मिलितम मीना तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः श्री गुरु चरण सरोजे जग की रखवाली करनी वाली जग दमी ओ जग दमे
घर घर है सुख की है दीवानी जग रंबे मैया मे माँ तुम्हारी है नीराली ओ जग रंबे मैया Expel your power, your sins. When you clap, you awaken the energy within you. When you clap, you clap away your sickness. You clap away your troubles. You clap away your problems. When you clap, your elbow is supposed to hunch the person next to you to wake them up, just in case they are asleep. 
when you clap when you clap when you clap just by you giving off your pop if the person next to you is not clapping they act like a dry sponge will absorb water they're taking all your sins so clap and if the person next to you is not clapping then watch them and smile you know why you know why give them some parsad the parsad of pop sin to take home clap and sing with me whenever kirtan is happening kirtan is one of one of the greatest forms of worship and so kirtan awakens the consciousness within us when we sing and when we clap and when we eulogize it helps us to become energized when we eulogize it helps us to become energized so sing with me clap and let us make a joyful noise unto the mother goddess everybody think at that jai jai ambe bhavani ma jai jai ambe bhavani ma takes us into a very unique space or place this evening it takes us into the lok of lord brahma lord brahma he is the god of creation and because of many actions that lord brahma has performed and because of many things that he has done he has caused trouble for his own self he has created problems for his own self and though he knows what is right and though he knows what is wrong he has still chosen to do the wrong things over the right things though he knows that the truth will set you free there are many times he chose to lie and to not tell the truth and so this caused him to land himself in trouble in problems taking us into the realm of lord brahma what will happen lord brahma is seated next to his wife When you go to a function, husband and wife, does husband always sit next to wife? Does husband sit next to wife? Who is in charge, husband or wife? Last night we had a wedding, eh? Who is in charge? Maybe I should ask the newlywed. The wife, eh? Even the husband pointing you before you said that. happy wife happy life 
I said to Dave, today I want you to get a kerchief, I want you get, to get a pin, and I want you to get a coin and paint it in black. And he looked at me, he said, what am I going to do with that? I said, well, today is the day you have to give that as a gift to your wife. And he said, why? I said, well, sometime after the wedding, she'll look at you and say, you never buy a handkerchief for me. You never give me a pin, and you never give me one black cent. So to do damage control, Today, very early in the marriage, you must give these tokens so that she can't use that against you. Lord Brahma is seated next to his consort. And the consort of Lord Brahma, the wife of Lord Brahma, is Mata Saraswati. Jai Jai Vani Saraswati Jai Jai Vani Saraswati Jai Jai Vani Saraswati Jai Jai Vani Saraswati Om Im Saraswati Namang Om Sri Vishnu Vinaya Bhagwan Brahma aur Mata Saraswati ka sharana ghat hoti karne wali dekh aur bahut ka shan karne wali jisme ka bete binti karo kripa hi jai jai vani saraswati jai jai vani saraswati Sitting next to her, both of them, they're experiencing this thing that is called Shanti. Have you ever heard of Shanti before? What does Shanti mean? Husband, is it possible to experience Shanti when you're sitting next to your wife? Wife, is it possible to be at peace when you're sitting next to your husband? Hello? Both of them experiencing peace, Shanti. Mother Saraswati and Lord Brahma, occasionally they will turn to each other and they will smile. Occasionally they will turn to each other and they will smile. When is the last time you smiled with your wife? Not somebody else's wife, huh? Yo. One of the nights I said, love your children, love your parents. And the president of the foundation came to me and she said, you forgot something important. And I said, what? She said, you forget to tell them, love your own husband and your own wife. Not somebody else's own. Love your own. Don't look at anybody else's own. I want to tell you with conviction from my heart. Not everything that glitters is. Not everything that glitters is. His hair is black because the wife died, you know. You live with him and you will die instead. You don't know. You never know. The man wears the pants, but the wife chose which one he'll wear. Isn't it? It says, occasionally they will look at each other and they will smile with each other. And so they were enjoying each other's company. Husband, if you are sitting next to your wife, look at her and smile. And if you could see her from a distance, smile with her. You know their crocodile tears. It have crocodile smile too? Hmm? What's a fake smile? You know, because I said what I'm saying, Auntie Angie changed her chair, you know. She didn't want Auntie Pam to sit down by her husband. She went by her husband. She moved Auntie Pam. See? It is the intention. It is what Yagya is supposed to do, awaken you. It is supposed to bring some kind of consciousness in you. It is supposed to awaken you. Make you aware. Aware of not only the things material and physical, but the things that are spiritual and divine. That we have forgotten about. And so occasionally looking at each other, what will happen? Lord Brahma looked at Mata Saraswati. And after spending a very long time in each other's company, Lord Brahma spoke. And what will he say? Listen, he tells us. Brahmani Mata Saraswati ka puchni karani wali. Dekordiya ka mrityu lo kaha dene ka rete ka ho ke Unhone ka prithvi par ka maan ka parenge Pratna kya hai 
मुझको का आशीर्वाद दीन करते ही दीन करते श्री परमात्मा नमः दूरे गबवानी मां जय जय अम्मे spoke he got up and he says to the baby Saraswati he says I'm about to leave I'm about to go and mother Saraswati becomes very inquisitive and so she inquires where are you going and Lord Brahma he doesn't answer and when he turns to mother Saraswati and he looks at her it is as though her features have changed and it is as though he's seeing mother Durga with all the weapons husband you ever see your wife mad angry vex when she gets mad, when she gets angry, does she look like Mother Durga or some other Devi? Which other Devi she looks like? Dev? Turn camera, be careful. Which other Devi she looks like? Bonnie is screaming, I'm hearing him, Kali. Diane? Diane, where's your husband? Oh. And so, when he looks at her, he could see the features of Mother Durga, knowing that she's getting upset, knowing that she's getting angry. Hmm? Husband, are you able to tell when your wife is angry? How you'll be able to know? Hmm? How will you know? And so, seeing as though the features have changed, Lord Brahma immediately answers. Because you know, Lord Brahma, he's accustomed to getting in trouble now. He's accustomed to getting in trouble and being disciplined. and So immediately he answers. Because he, he has learned from his mistakes. There are many people who have not learned from their mistakes. And actually, we are not only supposed to learn from our mistakes, we are supposed to learn from the mistakes of those around us too. We are supposed to grow and educate ourselves based on what we see around. Making preparation so that the downfall of others will not be our downfall. The mistake of others will not be our mistake. And so, immediately answers and he says, I am going to Pritavi, the earth. And I'm going down on the earth because there is a divine being who has been praying to me. And so he has been chanting and he is the only being praying to me. And so I must go to bless him. I must go to give him an ashavad, a blessing, a divine blessing. And so permit me, O Devi, permit me to go. And so Mother Saraswati says, okay, can I accompany you? And he says, no, this is a task for me. This is not a task for you. You remain here and allow me to go. Have you ever inquired where your husband is going and he tells you that he's going someplace and you say, well, I want to go too. And then he starts to make excuses. Huh? Well, you shouldn't go, you know, because I'll stay long. And you say, well, don't worry, I could stay too. And he says, well, you'll be bored. And you say, well, no, I'll take my phone and I'll take the tablet. He said, tablet, you sick? He's, and you say, no, not that kind of tablet, the iPad now. And I'll do a hotspot from a phone to the... The lady is smart, you know, you know. You try to outsmart them, they, they are one step ahead of you. They know everything, you know. They know about everything. And so, Lord Brahma says, no, you remain here. And so I will go. And so Lord Brahma, what will he do? Listen, it tells us. Dure Gabbavani Ma Jai Jai Ma जिसमे का ब्रह्मा उसके का समी एक और प्रकट होते करने वाली उन्होंने का देवता का तीर करने वाली एक और स्वर्गालो का जिसमे का रहते हैं जिसमे का रहते होते हैं दूरे गय जय Jai 
जग दो नारिनी मां जय जय अमे परम शिवानी मां जय जय श्री मां परम शिवानी मां जय जय श्री मां परम शिवानी मां जय जय heavens and so he came down on the earth and so he stood in front of this bhakta this das the servant who was praying to him and so lord brahma looked at the das the servant and immediately this being could recognize lord brahma if bhagwan if god decides to come and stand in front of you would you be able to recognize him hello would you be able to recognize him If you want to choose a form a bhagwan to come in front of you sindhi which form you'll choose mother durga oh but mother durga sits on a lion when you see this huge lion in front of you what you'll do oh you're changing now eh you're changing your trend of thought will you choose lord shiva But then he has a huge snake around his neck. Huh? The old people used to say, "Don't kill the snake when it does Lord Shiva, isn't it? Have you ever heard that before? Leave the snake. The snake harmless. That's Lord Shiva. Huh? But that's the snake that is cruel, eh? What about the snake that have two foot and a big mouth? That's Lord Shiva too. If you could leave the snake that crawls to go free and set it free, and you know for a fact that that snake could cause death, and you forgive that snake and allow it to go, then why can't you forgive the one that have two foot and a big mouth? Huh? Why can't you? What's the difference? What's the difference? Hello. Hello. You're free to answer. What's the difference? Actually, let me get in trouble alone now. You don't answer. Lord Brahma, he stood in front of this being, and immediately this being recognized him. You and I, when we pray, we will hope and we will expect that Bhagwan will come through the forms and through the medium of being. forms that we know but this isn't always so because scripture has taught us that when he can't come when the devi herself can't come she's going to send some being and so they may come looking different in a different form like a human being but it might be bhagwan it might be god last night last night when everybody left One of the fine ladies of the group recognized that she lost her chain. Everybody is hunting and searching everywhere for the chain. And then we go out in the road, and the chain is in the middle of the road. The cars have rolled over the chain countless times. Found back the chain, but there is a little gem that was on the end, and the gem is missing. And everybody pull out their torchlight and their phone, and everybody in the middle of the road, twelve o'clock in the night, eh? Twelve o'clock in the night. And in a distance, I saw a man. And I saw the man there. And in my mind, I'm going, I'm saying, I'm thinking. I said, this man will say them doing some kind of juju in the middle of the road, twelve o'clock in the night. So I started to sing and I started to clap, and then. As she shouted the in the the welcoming, as she started to dance, and in the middle of the road, twelve o'clock, and then after everybody just missed themselves and went in their cars, the man came up. The man said hello, 
I could get some food. And we look at him and we say, well, okay, we'll get the food for you. He said, we'd have come well here, you know, but I see all they doing all the ritual in the road. And I didn't want to disturb the ritual. So I waited until, you know, you were done and everybody is going and now I, can I have some food? And in my mind, I'm thinking, he has to be a strong, open-minded person to still come after that ritual to say, can I have some food? Do you know there are people who attend the function? They see what is happening. They can appreciate. They belonged once to the very same religion. And then when the Panjamit pass, they twist up them out. When the Parasad pass, they say, when the Chandan pass, they say, you swear they're catching fits. When they put the perfume, you say, hmm? like they're in shock. When the Karhi pass, they say, The Chana pass the same. Two spoon. Huh? We hear very confused. Conveniently, huh? Conveniently. Very conveniently. We hear confused. Do you know that man could have been God? Do you know at that time of the night, the last, the Ramayan says that Lord Hanuman comes wherever Katha is happening sits in the back, can't identify him. He wears the oldest clothes. He appears to be the most undressed person. The person nobody wants to sit next to. The person nobody wants to talk to. The person nobody wants to serve. The person nobody wants to have anything to do with. But he comes there not for Mohan Bo. He comes there for Prasadam. Prasadam that will nourish his Atma, his soul, his existence. That's what he's going for. He walks in quietly and sits, and he leaves quietly. Nobody notices him when he comes, and nobody knows when he leaves. Nobody knows. In the Bhagavad, a few weeks ago, sitting right in the front row, I'm singing the Bhagavad Arti, and there is a drunk man, the man drunk, he could hardly move, and he's looking at me and he says, I am Krishna. I am Krishna. Come and do my Arti. He's telling me, he says, Hey, you. Boy, Boy, come and do my art. He said, bring the parsad for me. I is Krishna. I am Krishna. And from up here, he sent some parsad for him. And he looked at me and he smiled. The ordinary mind will criticize and the ordinary mind will condemn. And you'll watch the drunk man and say, well, will he come here for, boy? But you know how much people dress up nice and they, they, they themselves don't even know why they come. Where I come here for, boy, they have no clue. They make an appearance. Have no clue what happened. Have no clue what was said. Didn't learn a single thing. Came empty and left empty. When we come here, we should come empty. But when we leave here, we should leave full, filled with bhakti and devotion, filled with energy, filled with fortitude, filled recognizing that I came here to learn how to express gratitude to my creator, my Paravatma, my God whom I love, whom I've never seen but I know exist, whom I worship to the medium of the multitude manifestations. Lord Brahma stands there. And as Lord Brahma stands, this being begins to speak to Lord Brahma. And very softly, in a quiet tone, he sings. Jisme pehle ka Brahma devta, dekho darshan nije, darshan nije. Jisme ka manush rupe karne wale, devta ka turan karne. Dekho bandhu ka swarga tata karne. Jisme ka raki kaya hote, raksha raksha tu bhagavan. Dek, dek te ka. Dekho swarga lo ka mrityu lo. Dene vane shri paramatmane nama. Dure ga bhavani ma. Jack. 
Saraswati is observing from the heavens and she is looking down at what is happening and so as this being spoke this being spoke in a very soft loving tone do you know some people puff you up soft and loving too you ever get a, a nice puff up before hello have you ever received a nice puff up before you ever puff up somebody and, and nobody could figure out what is happening hmm do you know how much times they, while I'm growing up, my mother is buffing me and nobody knows what is happening? Huh? Because she smiles for everything, eh? And I'm next to her and she's smiling and she's saying, Hello, ring out your ears. Behave yourself. Sit down and don't move. And, and she's smiling. And I'm insisting that I must do what I want to do. And she's saying to me, I don't talk to you, you know. Don't make me have to deal with you in front of all these people. And she's smiling. And everybody must be saying, look at her very nice, well-behaved child. And look at this good mother. She's smiling through everything. Eh? She's smiling. And the child is well-trained. And then you make a little thing and, and, and you, you make a slip and she holds you by your head. She says, that's just a taste. I'll deal with you better when we go home. Sit down. Don't move. Mother ever did that to you? Huh? Mother ever did that to you? Mother Saraswati is observing from the heavens what is happening. And observing from the heavens, Mother Saraswati, she knows she might have to intervene. Because she doesn't, she doesn't know what Lord Brahma will do. And as this being stands in front of, of Lord Ramha, he says, Lord Ramha, bless me. I want an ashava. The ashava that I want is I want you to bless me that I can go and I can live in the heavens and I can be like a devata. I could experience heaven. I want to live in the heavens like a devata. Do you live home like a god? Are you like a god at home? Hello? Do you live like a god at home? Your neighbors like you? Your neighbors like you? You mean the people whom say, Oh God, when you're home? Huh? From the time the Baba enters into your home, you know what you do? You wash his foot. You do his puja. You put him mala. Because your Baba is like? Like God, Bhagavan. Long ago, because he, you revered him with so much of love and so much of respect, You'll take some of that water that you wash his foot and you'll drink it. Huh? You'll put some on your head. You'll rub some on your hand and rub it on your body. Isn't it? In 2022, you scorn the Baba foot. Hmm? You look at the Baba and you say, hmm, me and drinking that. In the mind. Every time the Guru enter the kingdom of Raja Dasarat, Raja Dasarat will come off his throne. Put the Guru to sit on the throne. Wash the feet of the Guru and give the water to the servants and allow them to sprinkle it through the entire kingdom. Everywhere, they will sprinkle this Amrit. You know why? Because when the holy people walk through the home, they are accompanied by the Devatas and the Devis and your entire home becomes blessed. The old people used to tell the Baba, before he leave, you had to walk through the house. Eh? Especially the puja room. Go eh? Make sure and walk in the puja room. Sometimes the Baba come and sit down by the baby and you have to wait two hours for you to come because you come in here. Had afraid to light up the Havan because your head will go vroom. Huh? Your head will catch a fire with the hair spray. Sometimes the Baba leave and you even know because you study in Karhi and you study in Parsad Bhat and you study in all kind of things. But didn't even know and he say, you know the man gone and he even tell me.
He says, I want to live in the heavens like a Devata. I want to experience what the heavens is like. And so Mother Saraswati immediately intervened. And you know what she did? Though she was told not to come, she sat on the tongue of Lord Brahma. And she started to talk through him. You know much times your brothers speak and your sisters speak and your children speak and you could hear your mother. You could hear your father. You could hear your grandfather saying that very same thing. Have you ever experienced that? Have you ever experienced that before? You could hear them saying the very same thing. It's as though they are saying it through the children. And so, Mother Saraswati, immediately tangling the tongue of Lord Brahma, she is saying, ask for anything else, but don't ask for that. We can't give you that. Ask for anything else. He can't, he can't figure out what is happening, you know. Because Lord Brahma is standing and he say, we can't give. We can't give. Because it is not Lord Brahma speaking, it is Mother Saraswati speaking. We can't give. And he didn't figure that out. And so, he pondered and pondering. What will he ask for? He continues, thinks about something else and listen. Unhone ka karp bene karne, chisme ka ashwar mangate ka. विचा का करने वाली देख देखता करने जिसमें का आशीर्वाद की ने देख और ब्रह्मा की रक्षा होते ही रक्षा होते ओम श्री परमात्मने नमः दूरे गदवानी माँ जय जय अम्बे माँ कब यहाँ चुपने He says, well, you can't bless me to go and live in the heavens and to experience what it is like to be a Devata. Then bless me that I can live for many cults, many ages. And so in the different cults, promise me that you will protect me. And so I will live through all of these cults and bless me with the Varadhan that I will not die by the hand of any Devata or the sons or the offerings of any Devata or any being on the earth. Bless me with this Varadhan. Give me this Ashava. When you are about to die, what do you see? What will you see? Actually, let me change that first time. When death comes and stands before you, what, what would you wish to see at that time? Huh? What will you want to see, Ashish? What do you want to see? There are some people on their dying bed and about to go. They say, bring the bank book I want to see. Bring the bira, I want to hold it one more time. Hmm? They hide it so safe that they can't even find it. Huh? Bring the grandchildren, I want to see one more time. Tell he, she and them to come, the whole family. I want to dead because I want to see them first before I dead. And you really have to dead after you see them, you know, because you will see them in your whole life. So the shock of everybody coming together might really kill you. Then the person die and the eye open a little bit. And one person couldn't reach in time and they say, you know, the eye they open because you didn't reach. Go in the funeral home eh? because the eye go come open when they come home. They want to see you. Want to see anybody when you die? The only thing you want to see or the only thing you'll wish to see is Bhagwan God. But if you live your whole life not thinking of God, 
and you live your whole life not making peace with God, then what will happen? What will happen? How will God come at that time? How will you be able to think of God? I taught the members of the group in the Bhagavad. I said a new chant that you must sing every single night before you go to sleep. Manne tum govind govind bolo Manne tum govind govind bolo Mind of mind, Govinda, 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 Bolo, sing Govinda, Govinda, Govinda. Oh, mind of mind, be at the feet of Govinda. Oh, mind of mind, have Govinda on the tip of your tongue. Oh, mind of mind, be aware and conscious of Govinda. For the time when that comes and I think of Govinda, my soul will get mukti, salvation. Hmm? My soul will gain salvation. Just by thinking of Govinda. He says, I don't want to die by the hand of any Devata, nor the offsprings of any Devata or any man on the earth. That's why long ago they used to name the children Ganesh and Ram hmm? and Shiva and Mahadev. Hmm? And you, you named the, the daughter Lakshmi and you named her Devi. Hmm? And you named her something auspicious, something holy. Mala. Hmm? Rudra. And you name them something that will remind you of? A Bhagwan, a God. So that if perchance when you're about to die, they stand by your bed and you call their name, indirectly you're calling the name of? So that your soul will get mukti, salvation. But now you name them Brittany. And you have a little space, so you put spare. Spare space now. So you name her Britney Spare Maraj. Hmm? Brad, and it have a little space, so you put Lee, Bradley. Huh? And we name our children all sorts of things because we don't want to name them Vedanan. And we don't want to name them Vivek. And we don't want to name them Ashani. Hmm? We want to name them modern names. We're living in a modern time and you're more than go to hell. Because when you call those names, those names bear no kind of spiritual value. And so you're calling those names and meaningless. Meaningless. The name has a great impact on the aura and the energy of the beings. But then you see the daughter named Lakshmi and the day after Diwali, she in KFC, you know, in front front of the line, Lakshmi, and she name is Sharda, you know, and she sit down in the bar stool and spinning right around, eh? he named Shiva, you know, hmm? he, he know to cook curry on the chulha by the beach, not curry on the chulha in the puja, you know, because he named Shiva but never went to puja in his whole life, we go to the funeral, and, and I'm, I'm standing, and where I'm standing, it is difficult for me to go, to hand everything. So I'm, I'm standing by the microphone because there is a huge crowd. And I say to the Swami, I say, Swami, I will chant the mantra. By now you know exactly what to do. You hand them the appropriate things and guide them into doing it. We offer the water, we put the chandan, we put the perfume. I say, time for the mala. I sing it. And I turn away for one minute and when I turn back, all the edge man, the five boys put on the mala for themselves. And the dead man in the box, say, well, I done dead. I never get one when I live in Wagadu. I put on the microphone and I start to laugh because I don't know what else to do. And in my mind, I'm saying, have you never gone to a funeral before? 
But then when you hear funeral, you're so glad the man dead. You, you ain't going because the man dead. You're going because you have a cooler in the trunk. That's why you're going. You're going because you get an opportunity to get bereaved. Man, leave from work. You never talk to them when they're living, eh? but that's your family when they're dead. The people in the funeral home say to me, they don't know if I have any more uncle. Because I call and say, my uncle dead, can you help me? My aunt died, could you help me? Because it's some good chill and that's the relationship I have. I live like family, I say, can you help me? They say, Pondit, half a Trinidad is your uncle and your aunt. I say, you just help me now. When you help me, you're helping them, and when you help them, we're helping God. Through them, help me. There are days when I will call the people in the group, I say, here what, you have to help me. I'm doing a chi chi, we have to do a funeral for people who can't afford. I want you to give me this, I want you to give me that, I want you to... I call, I say, I know you're so nice, sorry, I want it. What are you going to do, put it on for Murti? No, we're going to put it on for somebody who died. A dead lady who give my sari? Give it. Give it. There is a need. There is a genuine need. Give it. Give it freely. You will get back a hundred. You give it. When the time comes to give and to do, give and do. He doesn't want to die by the hand of a devata. And if a devata destroys him, he'll get mukti, you know, salvation. But he doesn't want to die in the hand of a devata. That's how confused he is. So hungry for, for existence. And so what will happen? Standing like this, after being blessed with Yashavad, with Lord Brahma, promising that he will bless him and protect him until he dies. It says he started to create havoc. He started to create distress. It's Christmas and you want to buy a gift for the child. Hmm? So you buy one of those Bluetooth box. Huh? And you think you'll hear Jai Jagadi Shahade. And then all you hear is brock and wine out and grind out and you know that kind of music? And, and you're not hearing, you know, um, you're not hearing anything that you, you know about. Nothing of your, that came from your era, you know, nothing that you could relate to. Savannah grass and, and, and what's the other one? The one with the shank, the shell, was it? Was it? Was it? Look, the little child know, you see? See the little child know? The little child know? Kong shell. You hearing? And you tell the children, sing now, Jai Jagadisha Hari. Me and Udana? Pago Hamid. How Hamid? And the box that you buy as the gift becomes a nuisance because now you have to listen to this thing in your head. Boom, boom, boom. In this home, we have problems with that, you know. Early in the morning, we have to listen to that boom box. Playing the same thing that we, we hear in the night, in the morning, and in the day, and whole, whole day. Same thing. There is a man who has his phone. Well, oh, Father. He walks through the whole house in the middle of the night with that phone on and playing the bhajan loud, loud, loud. And you sleep, you sweep. You know when you hear funeral passing on the road? How the mic songs or a wedding or something? You swear by a wedding passing through the house. It says, being blessed, he started to create havoc. He started to make mischief. You buy the PS4 for the child for Christmas, huh? And then the whole day is only PS, PS. Huh? You buy the phone for the child, you know, and whole day and whole night the child on the phone. You say, it's only phone, phone, phone. Who created that? I say all the time and I get in trouble all the time, you know. Mother say, drink when you're home, eh? I want to see you. Drink while you're home, I want to see you. And you're smiling and you say, come, cheers. And then when he start to drink and come home, you had to go under the chair. Huh? Smoke in front of me, I want to see when you're smoking. And then when they become chronic and addicts, you say, where have I gone wrong? Because you have supported those things. You have encouraged those things. You created the monster. You think I could smoke anything in front of my mother? 
I will get some smoking licks. But now how big I am? You think I could? Even entertain the thought of drinking something in front of her? Well, I could just imagine. I might drink it and she might beat me like she get drunk. Because that is the respect that she commands. That is the era that we came from. But the children of today didn't come from that era. They came from the era where you say, Tuna, anything, you go ahead, fix up, go. You want to go, go. You don't want to come back, well, all right, where I go do? You go. Let them live, let them alone. Huh? The old people used to say, lay alone. Huh? My grandmother used to say, what to say and what to do, nobody don't listen. Huh? Well, if she was living now, she'd have ring out, she'd two ears. Creating havoc, Lord Brahma, he now went to Vishnu Lok and he went to Shiva Lok. And reaching to the Lok, as Lord Brahma says, I have a problem and I need help. Who helped him to make the problem? Did anybody help him? But now, through the Drishti, through the power of Mother Saraswati, he is guided into going to seek help. He is guided. Some of us, our ego never permits us to ask for help. Our ego never permits us because we want fame and we want glory and we want it for ourselves. We never want to share. And so, going to Vishnu Lok and going to Shiva Lok, it says, Lord Brahma, Lord Vishnu and Lord Shiva, all together. What will happen? Listen, the Katha tells us finally. Jai Durga Lakshmi Saraswati Devi Jagan Mata 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 Devi Jagan Mata Maya Devi Jagan Mata Jai Durga Lakshmi Saraswati Devi Jagan Mata Jai Durga Lakshmi Saraswati Devi Jagan Mata Om Sri Paramat Parinava Brahma Vishnu Rishiva Vahan Shakti Ka Samil Karne Vali Chisme Ka Pridavi Par Ka Lambi Lambi Sakde Ka Rete Ka Pragat Hote Naash Karne Nahi Hote Vami Devi Bhagwati Saraswati Or Mata Lakshmi Ki Shakti Parvati Dek Or Unke Ka Shakti Bhav Dek Or Unko Ka Raksha Hote Unho Ne Ka Labte Ka Dekhte Ka Jante Jisme Ka Nahi Per Hote और वामे शक्तियों का मैं जिसमें निर्दन्या है निर्दन्या है जय दुर्गा लक्ष्मी सरस्वती देवी जगन्माता जय दुर्गा लक्ष्मी सरस्वती देवी जगन्माता जय दुर्गा लक्ष्मी सरस्वती देवी जगन्माता Devi Jagan Mata, Maya Devi Jagan Mata. 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 Lambi Lambi for a long, long time. Lord Brahma, Lord Vishnu and Lord Shiva, they sat and they were all devising a plan. They were devising a plan of how they will destroy this being who has now started to create havoc. They are plotting a plan. You sit down and you talk, talk, talk and you have no action, then what will happen? You sit down and you talk, talk, talk and nobody gets up and moves, what happens? 
in the night time, when everybody is sitting and talking, 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 I go to the back and I bring a broom. And I go in the middle of everybody and I drop down the broom. And then you see everybody getting up one by one. Sit around tomorrow, sit around tomorrow. It means go home. Hmm? Now they understand that. It means go home. Tomorrow we'll talk again. Talk, 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 and no action. Huh? You ever hear they say the barking dog do bite? You ever hear that? I don't know about that. Huh? Dog is dog and barking dog have teeth too. Huh? And so, lumbi lumbi for a long, long time in discussions, what will happen? The Davies now entered. And as the Davies entered, the three Davies entered, they decided to give an advice to their husbands. And what they said? Standing here and talking to each other will not resolve the problem. Why don't all three of you combine your powers together? And so all three of you combining your powers together, go down and discipline him. All of you together, you will have the might and the power. Brahma promised that he will protect him. But Lord Shiva never made that promise. Lord Vishnu never made that promise. And though you will be protecting him, you'll be disciplining him at the same time. We want to give our children all the things that we did not have when we were growing up. Eh? We want to give them everything and allow them to enjoy life. Because we did not, we were deprived from things. But in doing so, we have forgotten to give them good morals and values and teach them manners and ethics and how to say Sita Ram and how to say... We have... I walk in Palmi's Park. I have been walking there for years now. And I, everybody I pass, I will say good evening to. I don't say Sita Ram. I say good evening to everybody. Do you know if three or four people answer me, I got plenty replies? If there is anybody walking with me, they say to me, why are you so hush, boy? Nobody taking you on, why are you telling them, good evening? Why are you wasting your time? I'm not wasting my time, you know. I'm reminding them that manners make it who you are. I'm reminding them. And whether they say good evening to me or they don't say good evening to me, I'm still having a good evening. Because I'm still swimming. I'm still exercising. And I didn't go there to make any friend. But not because they don't reply to me means that I'm going to be like them. I don't want to be like anybody. And I'm saying that with no apology. I don't want to be like anybody. I never wanted to and I never will. I just want to be the best me that I can be. I don't want to be in any competition with anybody. And anytime there is a competition, I jump out of the race. I jump out of the competition and you didn't even know. But I am not competing. And anytime you are better than me, I'm glad for you. Because you know why? You know why? It helps me to recognize that I need to grow. It helps me to recognize that I need to polish myself. It helps me to recognize that I need to keep on climbing. Because we are never the best. There is always somebody better than us. There will always be somebody better than us. But that man never became perfect overnight. He became perfect because of trial and error. And it is okay to try and fail, but it is not okay to fail too. Always remember that. And so tonight, as they combine their powers and they stand in front of this demon, the being has now been converted into a demon because of his actions. Eh? And so as they stand in front of him, he begins to tremble. And so trembling like this, he refuses to fight. He drops on the floor and dropping on the floor, he is not seeing Lord Brahma. He is not seeing Lord Vishnu and he is not seeing Lord Shiva. He is seeing one huge, gigantic form in front of him and this frightens him. Things unfold in our life to frighten us all the time, you know. You know that? You are driving down the road and somebody run into your van. You know why they run into your van? to wake you up, to remind you that you have to be very conscious. To be conscious. Weeks after you're still trembling because of the little hit that you get, you know. Weeks after. A man run into your house and he said, give me your money. Huh? It reminds you, close up your door now. It's reminding you, you are your best friend and your worst enemy. If your door was closed, it would never happen to you. Isn't it? It's teaching you a lesson. 
the lesson of how to be conscious the lesson of how to be awakened and about the surrounding and, and the beings around and to know that not everybody is your friend to remind you that not everybody is your friend and so as this being stands in front of he bows and begging for forgiveness the devis in the heavens begin to rejoice looking at what is happening he says forgive me forgive me i promise that i will change my ways there are many times that life shakes us up and tugs us and pulls us and pushes us the bank account have plenty zeros not one eh plenty plenty zeros you know what happened your ego become big you become proud huh? and then the bank account go to zero and you know what happened you know what happened then you want to pray then you want to put up a jhandi then you want to know i have a bad gra you know what the gra is the gra is your own mind the gra is your own attitude the gra is your ability to be respectful your gra is the ability to know that whether how much i have it doesn't defy who i am because a day will come when i'm going down the road huh? you know when you're going down the road what what you hear what you hear what you hear i be akela jai be akela do din ke zindagi hai do din ka mila i be akela jai be akela do din ke zindagi hai do din ka mila how much time how much time you have seen that behind the hearse somebody house going with them you ever see that huh how much time you see rbc going along the road or rbl or fcb you all know is that you know is fcb how much time you see that going along the road behind the hearse you ever see that huh They tell, they tell, it's our tradition that we put up two white flags in front of the hearse. You know why? It is a time of total surrender in the war to show that you surrender and you're not going to fight again and you give up. They wave the white cloth. You all know? They wave the white flag. That came from dharma, you know. Our dharma taught that. Because our dharma, Bhagwan says in, in the Gita, he says, fight, you know. Stand up and fight. Fight. fight protect your dharma and your dharma will protect you fight fight for righteousness and fight for truthfulness and fight for morality and fight for for that which is right fight and they put the two flag in front of the hearse not one surrender you know it's two surrender two surrender because two surrendering has to happen the surrendering of the body and the surrendering of the atma the soul your soul now has to surrender the feet of bhagwan paramatma that's why you put two flag so now you know why now you know why is one man dead but they put two flag huh because your body has to be surrendered and your atma your soul has to be surrendered and you know why they put white huh to show that it is total surrender no competition the rich man the poor man white 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 huh? nothing going with you absolutely nothing going with you tomorrow when you get up open your wardrobe and find your nice clothes and put it on you know go in front of the mirror and model and look nice and take a selfie and thing you know because when you're dead your clothes dead too nobody want to wear no dead people clothes you all know that you all know that huh That's your own father, you know. You don't want to wear the clothes. You're afraid you're dead too. That's your own mother, and you're afraid to go by the box because you're afraid. The late Pastor Mister said one day, in a yagya, up on the asan, I was a little child. I remember this because you know why? It created a, 
it created a, an uproar. He you said your mother died and you, won't, you don't want to carry the box because you're afraid your own mother who bring you in the world and mind you and feed you and clothe you. Huh? But you go Princess Town and you go San Fernando and you go in the airport and you go and you buy a whole box of dead. KF something. Huh? And you put it under your arm. Hmm? And you're afraid that come alive under your arm. You're walking with it here, there, and everywhere. And the same soul in your mother is the same soul in the chicken you're going to eat. Same soul. Same atma. You're afraid that. You're afraid your mother who you know. You're sleeping with the all the light on. You're afraid your mother, you know, is your own conscience bothering you of what you could have do and should have do and didn't do. And is your own conscience frightening you? She goes, so, bam. Baba, the toilet flush. Something happened and the toilet flush. You went to the prayers, good. And she come back. Let me smoke out the house now. What to buy him? What to, what to put? Red lavender? Huh? What to do? Tell me what to do. I have done countless funerals. In the funeral, I stand up tall and I say, I say, you see when I do the funeral, you're dead and you're dead. Anything you're hearing in the house is your own imagination. Anything you're seeing anywhere is your own imagination. And anytime you didn't believe me, it's your own conscience bothering you. Mother toil and work and save and build and provide for you. And you have to offer Pinda once a month. Once a month. Eh? They become a burden. Well, I had to travel and I had to go and, and I did not plan to go my arrow over a week. Carry the Pinda. Offer it by my arrow. On the seashore, offer it. Your mother will come. God is here, there, and everywhere. It doesn't matter where you offer it. Offer it. It is your duty. The only way you could repay the debt is by performing the rituals. It is the only way you can show gratitude to your mother and your father by performing the rituals to the best of your ability. But your mother living and you never talk to she and six months you want to give her a cow. Huh? For the six months the cow will put you down. Because you know why? You're being hypocrite. You fake. I want to do the six months. Baba, if you can't come, well, me and what we go do, we go have to get somebody else. Well, once I know you fake, you really have to get somebody else. I want a date, I want a date, I want a date. You swear them going to death too. And when you live in, you can't get a cup of water, you know. You're dead and you're dead for days and your own family even know you're dead. Sometimes you know that and people hear that and they say, he know that? I thought he that long time. Huh? It says, he bowed and he says, I will change my ways. Yagya is good at helping us to change our ways. Good at a weakness, helping us to wake up from the sleep that we're in. And to tell our ego, ego, there is no space for you when it comes to worship and God. Ego, there is no place for you when it comes to me serving my God. The devis begin to rejoice in the heavens. And as they begin to rejoice, what will happen? Pandaji does the Havan. Jai Durga Lakshmi Saraswati Devi Jagan Mata Jai Durga Lakshmi Saraswati Devi Jagan Mata This evening I want you to clap and I want you to sing with me. Everybody, let's clap and let's sing together. I want to hear the dola. I feel like I'm not hearing it. Jai Durga Lakshmi Saraswati Devi Jagan Mata Jai Durga Lakshmi Saraswati Devi Jagan Mata Jai Durga Lakshmi Saraswati Devi Jagan Mata Devi Jagan Mata Maya Devi Jagan Mata Devi Jagan Mata Maya Devi Jagan Mata Devi Jagan Mata Maya Devi Jagan Mata 
जगन माता देवी जगन माता मैया देवी 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 जगन माता लक्ष्मी सरस्वती देवी जगन माता जय दुर्गा लक्ष्मी सरस्वती देवी जगन माता जय दुर्गा लक्ष्मी सरस्वती देवी जगन माता जय दुर्गा लक्ष्मी सरस्वती देवी जगन माता मगर बम मगर बम मगर बम 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 मगर बम मगर बम मगर बम बम मगर बम मगर बम मगर बम बम मगर बम मगर बम बम मगर बम 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 बजावे रमरो बजावे रमरो बजावे रमरो बजावे रमरो बजावे रमरो शिव बम 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 बोला बजावे रमरो शिव बम 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 बोला बजावे रमरो शिव बम 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 बोला बजावे रमरो मगर बम मगर बम मगर बम 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 मगर बम मगर बम मगर बम मगर बम मगर बम मगर बम 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 मगर बम मगर बम मगर बम बम कोई चरावे पान तो कोई चरावे माला 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 कोई मंगवा गए कोई अंको का शिवा बम 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 बोला बजावे तमरो शिवा बम 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 बोला बजावे दमरु 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 शिवा बम 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 बोला बजावे दमरु शिवा बम 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 बोला बजावे दमरु मगर बम मगर बम मगर बम बम मगर बम मगर मगर बम बम मगर बम मगर बम मगर बम बम मगर बम मगर बम मगर बम काशी जी के विश्वनाथ तो पीना काशी जी के विश्वनाथ तो पीना काशी जी के विश्वनाथ तो पीना काशी जी के काशी के विश्वनाथ ना तो के ना शिवा बम 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 बोला बजावे दमरो 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 मगर बम मगर बम मगर बम बम मगर बम मगर बम मगर बम बम मगर बम मगर बम मगर बम 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 अगर बम 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 बोला बजावे दमरु 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 शिवा बम 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 बोला 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 बजावे दमरु The lady standing next to me is the hostess of the yagya. In night, many people. Come into our lives. Some come for a reason, and some come for a season. And that's a fact. It is the truth. Some come to add value, 
and some come to bring that an end to you. And that's the truth. It is the it is a fact. If ever you have had the privilege of having any kind of interaction with her, you'd recognize that she's quiet. She's very quiet. But she's very stern. And she's very blunt. She tells you. She doesn't pretend. She doesn't pretend. She is like the principal of this home. She disciplines not only her children, she disciplines her husband. And she disciplines every one of us, including me, myself. She disciplines us. When the time comes, and, and uh, even during the Bhagwat, when I stayed here for all of those days, She's the last face that I will see in the night before I go to sleep. And she's the very first face I will see when I get up. The last thing she'll tell me in the night is, anything to eat, anything to drink. And the first thing she'll look at me in the morning and she'll say, what are we eating? Let me make something for you before. And she'll say to me, you don't eat, you don't eat. And she'll buff me up. She's the purpose that we're having the Yagya. She's the purpose that we had the Yagya last year, and the year before, and the year before. She's the purpose. Because this is how she chose to celebrate her birthday. Her sister's birthday was the day before, and her birthday is today. And there is one sister that was born some other month and she said, well, my birthday is between two of them. Call my name too, eh? It's my birthday too. She has created an opportunity for all of us. She has, she has given to us an example of how we should celebrate our existence and what we should do. How we should celebrate. What, what can I say to you? What can I say about you? I said and I planned in my mind that this evening we'll have the reception because we had the wedding yesterday. But you know, last night, nobody wanted to leave and we had the reception quietly. It was a quiet reception. Not that we couldn't afford it, eh? we could afford. But a quiet reception where everybody spoke. Everybody who was there spoke except me. And I said to them, I don't want to talk when nobody can hear me, I want to talk on the microphone when the whole world can hear me. To tell you that Sydney, you are standing by the Devi. Because you know why? You are the Devi. That's what you are. Give her a clap. You are the Devi. I have never heard in all of my time, I've never heard you or Dave say that you want something. But I've always heard from your lips, what can I give? And then one day, in a conversation, a conversation came up. And Dave said to me, tell me about this Rudraksha. Tell me about this bead. And I said, boy, if I tell you about that bead. He said, what? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? I said, bad. You could wear it, but you can't buy it for yourself. It has to be given as a gift. You know why? Because it is the first time I've heard, I want. And I did not share that with anybody. Because you know why? You want it, and I want it. You want the Ruraksha, and I wanted to buy it. I wanted to give that gift. And I purposely planned to spend the entire day, but it was not ready and I had to go to collect it. Dave, you'll get yours, but today is not your day. Today is the boss lady's day. This evening, I, I don't know what your wishes are. I don't know what your desires are. But this evening, what I know is that you are, you are the embodiment of strength. 
You are one of the most strongest persons that I've ever met. She has a daughter who has just recently migrated, who is on the quest to educate herself. And when that daughter left, we made our way here. I came for the first few days. She didn't even, I don't know if she could even remember that. Because I know that it will be a difficult time for them. And I tried to come for those days to give some support and some strength. But then I saw that I am giving strength to somebody who is already strong, who doesn't need my strength and who doesn't need my support. Because when I'm expecting tears, I'm seeing smiles. And when I, I'm expecting to see a long face, I'm seeing a happy face. I don't know if you could pretend good, I don't know. But only a mother who has sent a child abroad to study will know that feeling. It is as though a piece of you have left. Lakshmi is sending her sons on a vacation and she, she's having a heart attack. Imagine you sent your daughter to study in the next country on her own. And imagine your next daughter is saying, I'm going too. And imagine your next daughter is saying, well, me too. And then, but don't worry, me staying right here to make sure that I have you busy so that you will not cry or be unhappy. It is my duty. It is my duty to lead by the example. It is my duty to introduce everybody. And though I would have brought everybody together, there are many people who choose not to talk to me after that or think that their friend is better than and choose not to talk to you and choose not to that's fine it's all a part of life on your journey not everybody has to fit in on your journey not everybody has to be with you some people come and they have to drop off because you know why they just don't fit in they just will not fit in and whether how much you do or what you do it will never be good enough and so this evening as a token of my love and my appreciation, as a token of gratitude to you, I want to give you this gift. And I give you this gift with all my love. And I want to say to you that may Bhagwan Shiva bless you in a very special way. May he continue to be your best friend. May he continue to listen to your every petition. And may you continue to be the amazing, wonderful, remarkable, brilliant person that you are. Give her a clap now. And I want to give you this gift. You're real lucky to get a gift from the pundit. Eh? They give the pundits. Your pundit is giving to you. Om Tadevalaganam Surinam Tadeva Tarabalam Chandrabalam Tadeva Vidyabalam Deva Balam Tadeva Lakshmi Pate Grivam Smarami Om Brahmarpanam Mamastu Krishna Arpanam Girls, come and do your mother's RT. The RT says, You know what the RT says? Sharon, don't worry. I bought a gift for you too. Don't worry. So there is no need to be jealous. The RT says, Before I can see God in any multi, I must recognize God where? Come Dave, come stand next to your wife. Put him Allah for mommy. मात पिता तुम मेरे शरण कहो किसे स्वामी शरण कहो किसे तुम बिन और न दूजा प्रभु बिन और न दूजा आस करो जिसकी ओ 
जय जगदीश हरे ओ जय जगदीश हरे ओल पर भगी चाहता तुम ही हो माता पिता तुम ही हो तुम ही हो बंदो सरकार तुम ही हो मुम ही हो माता पिता तुम ही हो तुम ही हो बंदो सरकार तुम ही हो You and Cindy have taught us that a family that prays together stays together. I tried my best to convince Dave into not having this yagya. I said to him, Dave, we are having a bhagwat. We are using your home seven days, three times a day. It's the same Baba. It's the same group. It's the same people. It's the same food. It's the same work. It's the same everything. Dave, let us not have the yagya. And he said, "What?" I said, "Dave, but then let's." He said, "Tell me how much days we will have." I said, "But then let's do three nights." He said, "What? Three nights?" I said, "Okay, but then let's do five nights." He said, "Nah." I said, "Well, the only amount of nights you could do again is seven." He said, "Nah, I want to do nine. I want to do nine nights." And I said, "Why?" He said, "Boy, I love my wife." He said, "I want to pray, and I want to thank God for blessing me with a wife like this. And I want to pray." Yesterday he was saying in the wedding. Last night he said to us, and he always says this, and everybody thinks it's a joke. He's saying, "I'm begging God every day. I want the same wife. I want her to be my wife. If ever I have to come back, I want her. I want to find her. I only want her. I don't want anybody else. She must be my wife. She and she alone. How much husbands will say that?" You tell the groom who now getting married, put his sandal seven times. He said, "I could pay it for less." Huh? Dave is asking me, "Can I put it for more?" Dave, you couldn't know. Every day you put the sandal. Every day you put the sandal for her. Cindy, Cindy says, "I have no problem with that." But in the next, the next lifetime, should I tell them, Cindy? Should I tell them? Tell them. She says in the next lifetime, Bhagwan, hear Dave's prayers. But in the next lifetime, I want to be the husband. I want to be the husband. Cindy. Every time you say it, and that's your reply, then I'm sure Bhagwan will listen to your prayer. I'm sure. I'm sure. But remember, remember to reply every time he says it, huh? Because anything you throw out into the universe, the universe has a unique way of bringing it back to you. And you have thrown out positivity, and you have taught us all how to pray and how to give thanks. This evening you must be very special, for there is an entire maxi that came from all the way to Chatham this evening. Give the people from Chatham a little round of applause. They came from all the way to Chatham this evening. There is a maxi that came from all the way to Arima. They call. They say, Baba, we lost. I say, you lost. Where you? Where you? They say we seen some yellow flag. I say, keep on that road. Keep on that road. They say, but we turn around, you know. I say, so what you seeing? They say we seen wrecking service. I say, well, turn back and you follow the flag. Follow the flag. Bhagwan Krishna says, what great beings have done, other great beings will follow. He says in Bhagavad Gita, he says the example of a great man will be the example that many will emulate. So whatever you do, do it with greatness in mind, and know that once you put me first, perfection will come. This evening, I want to say blessings to you, and so on behalf of the Ganesh Utsav Foundation, the President, and and all its membership, we want to say thank you for being the remarkable people you are, and I want to personally say thank you. Thank you for tolerating me. Thank you for allowing me to invade your home to host my bhagwat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us all stand for the aarti this evening.
Tonight, tonight, we dedicate the art in memory of the beloved mother and father of Cindy. And so we pray that wherever their souls are, may their souls receive bliss and happiness. For whenever we celebrate a birthday, we do not only celebrate our existence, but we celebrate our parents who have brought us into the world. Jai Krishna Hari, Sri Krishna Hari, Dukkiyo ko dukkha dhur kare, Jai 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 Krishna Hari. जब चांद तरफ अंधियारा हो आशा का दूर किनारा हो जब चारों तरफ अंधियारा हो आशा का दूर किनारा हो और कोई न केवल हारा हो फिर तू करो जय 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 कृष्ण हरे जय कृष्ण हरे श्री कृष्ण हरे दुखियों को दुख दूर हरे जय 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 कृष्ण हरे कुछ कर दे इसको भी अमृत कर दे राम नारायण 
कृष्ण दामोदरम वासुदेव हरे श्रीधर माधव गोपिका बल्लव श्रीधर माधव गोपिका बल्लव जानकी नायक रामचंद्र भजे जानकी नायक रामचंद्र भजे यक्षुत केशव राम नारायण कृष्ण दामोदर वासुदेव हरे श्रीधर माधव गोपिका बल्लव श्रीधर माधव गोपिका बल्लव जानकी नायक रामचंद्र भजे जानकी नायक रामचंद्र भजे योगी मंत्रस अभिनिरीक्षण मंत्रहीनम ग्राहीनम भक्तिनम जनादनम यूजित म्या देवा पिपूर्ण तदस्तमे ओ शांति सीताराम 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 कहे The aarti is about to come. The panchamrit, the parsad, meals are provided for all. So please do stay and partake of the bhojan. And so this evening, I want you to give the little brahmachari a round of applause. Everybody, I caught him totally off guard. And so he is the son of Pandit Sat Narayan, and so an upcoming pandit. I have an announcement here. The Sri Ram Mandir of 35 Temple Street, Mandesi, Delhi Road, Faizabad. Kodan and me invites you and your family to their five nights Panchauti Gyan Yajna, commencing on Tuesday, the 16th of August, and terminating on Sunday, the 20th of August. Um, officiating will be Pandit Sunil, and assisted by Pandit Narendra. The Christian Janma, they forgot to put that in here, but the Christian Janma celebrations will happen during this yajna, and so we will be there for Christian Janma. And so Christian Janma happens at 12 o'clock in the night, and so we will be there at, until 12 o'clock in the night, singing the glories of Bhagwan Vishnu in the form of Krishna as he appeared on the earth, giving thanks to him. So this is an invitation from the 16th to the 20th, Sri Ram Mandir, 35 Temple Street, Mandesi Road, Delhi Road, Faisalabad. Um, this yajna comes to an end on Thursday night. On Friday, members of the family they'll be giving the gaur in dan. But from Sunday, we'll be in Orange Valley, Orange Valley, at the Orange Valley Vishnu Mandir for seven nights of Ramayan yajna. So you're invited to join with us for seven nights of Ramayan yajna as we glorify Bhagwan through the medium of the Ram Charitramanas, the Holy Ramayan. There is a presentation that Dave wants to make, and so Dave wants to give Cindy some flowers. Sintra, can you sing a flowery song as we give the flowers in Dan this evening?
राम जी के बग्या सीता के पुलवारी राम ओके गो हैड बहारो फूल बरसाओ मेरा महबूब आया मेरा महबूब आया I want you to sing a classical. Go ahead. There is a dance this evening. Is the music ready? Is the music ready? No. No. Can we have the music ready? Next after Sintra sings this rendition, we'll have the dance. So come to Rakesh with the music. reception
So we have two devotional dances. They're done by two sisters. Can we have you up on the stage? They're done by two sisters. Suri and Sabri Sipasar. They're members of the Prima Shakti dance group and the Apsaras dance company. So as they make their way on the stage, let us give them a round of applause. give them another round of applause but there is another dance I don't know if you observed but this is a princess standing next to me just pause for a minute this is a princess standing next to me every move her sister foot made her neck was making it did you all see that did you all see that I know that she's going to be a very good dance I give her a round of applause Tam, 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 tam,
ಕಾಶಿನಾಥ ವಿನುತ ಚರಿತ್ರ ವಾಮನ ರೂಪ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಪುತ್ರ ತರಿ ಕುಜೇ ಕುಜೆ ಧಂ ತಕ್ಕಣಂ ಕಿಣ ಕರುಣ ಜೂಡು ಮಂ ಪಟ್ಲ ಪರಾಕು ಶಾಯಕ ವಿಘ್ನ ವಿನಾಯಕ ದೇವ ಪ್ರಣಾಮು ತಕ್ಕಿಟತಕ ದಿಂಕಿಟತಕ ತುಂಕಿಟತಕ ನಂ ಕಿಟತಕ can i say my neck was moving this time let's give her better round of applause than that she deserves that this evening we have entertainment by last night we had the steel pan and so this evening we have entertainment by vashish dukaran he's 22 years old he is an electrical and computer engineer graduate and so he has been learning violin since the age of 6 he's going to play a religious piece and after he plays this religious piece at the back we're going to have the sticking of the cake and so the violin will accompany us to the back where we will have that part of the the evening's proceedings and so there is a surprise this evening but that surprise is at the back so i'm going to hand over to to vashish dukaran so that he can lead us in music music on the violin let's give him a round of applause is she going to sing okay so ಬೀನ ಬೋಲೆ ಜೋ ಸಮಜಲೆ ಮೇರಿ ಮನ ಕೀ ಬೇರೆ ಜುಕ ಮೇರೆ ಸುಖ ಮೇಜೋ ಹರ ಮಾ 
It's always a very proud feeling when the children could come and volunteer themselves without me having to call them. When we look at that little child doing that dance, we could hardly lift our foot up to walk up the step. And you look at that little child doing that dance so gracefully, so elegantly. I want you to give the children a round of applause this evening. When you listen to the, the Brahmachari, the little child doing the mantras of benediction, it is a proud feeling. It is something to be proud of because they are the upkeepers of our dharma. They are the ones who will lead us tomorrow. We are the leaders today and they are the ones that will lead us tomorrow. And they will only lead when we give them a chance. And so I am very proud of you, all of you. Now we hand over to... Meals will be served at the back, so you are free to go at any time you wish.
Mix it up, mix up on next one, yeah. Thank you. Sitaram and Namaste Pandit Neil Maharaj and Pandit Vishnu Maharaj cordially invite